Varys arrives on Dragonstone, accompanied by Daenerys, Missandei, Tyrion and Grey Worm. He follows Daenerys from the shore of the island to the hall of the castle. After Daenerys has assembled her war council, she gives Varys a rather backhanded thanks for arranging her alliance with the Dornish and House Tyrell. When he attempts to flatter her, she quickly turns the tables, pointing out that he deserted both her father and later Robert Baratheon in relatively short order and inadvertently played a role in the attempt to have her killed. Varys points out that had he refused to serve Robert, he would have lost his head and states that Robert, while a poor ruler overall, was certainly an improvement over her cruel and insane father. Tyrion protests that Varys has done much to prove his loyalty, but Daenerys points out that he has made a habit of plotting the downfall of any king that doesn't suit his purpose, and then replacing them with another. Refusing to be intimidated, Varys replies that his lack of blind loyalty to a monarch has actually been beneficial for the realm, as a whole. As someone who has suffered slavery, torture and poverty all his childhood, his loyalty has never been to any king or queen, but to the people. Varys wryly remarks that if Daenerys only wants blind loyalty from him, she might as well execute him now, but if she is willing to accept his services, he can give her enormous assistance in taking the Iron Throne. He reaffirms that she is, in his opinion, the last great hope for the people of Westeros. Satisfied, Danny asks him to swear to her that, if he feels she is failing the realm as queen, he tell her to her face rather than conspire to replace her. Varys swears to do so. Shortly afterwards, they learn that Melisandre has come to Dragonstone. Unsurprisingly, Varys makes a backhanded comment about her previous service to Stannis Baratheon, only for Daenerys to curtly remind him that she just forgave him for serving another king. Varys bows in acknowledgement, though he remains hostile towards Melisandre and skeptical of her prophecy about the prince that was promised. He later attends a council meeting detailing Tyrion's plan to take Westeros. When Jon Snow finally arrives at Dragonstone, Melisandre stays back, observing from the cliffs. Varys confronts her there and intuits that she's done something to anger the king in the north. Melisandre confirms that neither Jon nor his advisor are fond of her due, in her own words, to mistakes that she had made. Melisandre says that she will stay away from both Jon and Daenerys as her days of whispering in the ears of kings are over, a direct dig at Varys's chosen position. Melisandre declares that she has brought ice and fire together, and that her work is done. Varys is delighted to hear that she will depart for Volantis soon, and advises her not to return to Westeros. Melisandre states that she cannot follow that advice, as she must return to Westeros once more to face her end. Like Varys, it is her fate to die in Westeros. Varys and Tyrion later confront Daenerys outside the Dragonglass Mountain, where they inform her of the loss of Olenna Tyrell and Highgarden as well as the fact that the Unsullied hold Castly Rock, but are starved out and will be most likely defeated due to Euron Greyjoy's attack on their navy. Because of this, Daenerys decides to attack head-on with her dragons. However, she still is swayed from attacking King's Landing, and instead decides on attacking the Lannister Tarly forces on the Gold Road. Later, Tyrion and Varys talk about the deaths of Randall Tarly and his son Dickon in the Reach. Varys tells Tyrion about how he distanced himself from the Mad King's role in killing Rickard Stark and his son Brandon Stark. Tyrion continues to insist that Daenerys is not her father, and Varys agrees up to a point. Danny may not have her father's madness, but she certainly has a considerable ruthless streak, which, in Varys's view, must be curtailed by Tyrion's more pragmatic counsel. They discuss the sealed scroll containing Bran Stark's message from the north. He is later present at the chamber of the painted table when Daenerys agrees to the White Hunt. Varys arrives in King's Landing, with the full army and navy of the Targaryen militia present, but without Daenerys herself, who arrives on Drogon to intimidate Cersei. Varys later questions Bronn's allegiance to Cersei, along with Tyrion, who still somewhat trusts him, during their escorting to the armistice. Varys is present at the parley in the Dragon Pit, though he does not speak during the negotiations. He later sails to White Harbor, as Daenerys and Jon join all their collective forces to defeat the Night King. 